Is there another brown? Yeah. This one looks better though. A lot of browns around here. Oh yeah, nice looking brown. All right, guys, it's fall here in Northwest Arkansas. Well, it's late summer fall. How about the month of September? That's what we're gonna call it. Here's what happens. If you look behind me, a lot of you guys have probably been here before. This is basically right at the base of beaver tailwater and they are not releasing at all. That's common this time of year, but that doesn't mean you can't come down here and catch fish. This is an area right here that normally looks like it is completely deep. You're normally fishing from that ledge up there, but right now they're running almost no water. It's just that time of year. The good news is you might not be able to bring your boat up here, but you can bring your right foot and your left foot, walk out here and have a great time catching trout, even during the heat of the day. Austin's already given me some dirty looks because he said, who in the heck would want to come here at noon to go fishing? I said, Austin, that's what's good about having good bait. You come at noon, you're going to catch them at noon. You're going to catch them at 6 a.m. You're going to catch them at 6 p.m. No matter what time you have available, if you live in Northwest Arkansas or anywhere nearby, this section of the White River here in Beaver Tailwaters has tons of rainbows and we're finding out lots of browns waiting for you to come catch them. Boy, boy. I think that's a rainbow. Pretty good rainbow. Got him. Good one, huh? That's a brown. Look at the rainbow. That's a brown. This one has some pole to it. Can you That's tell not... Is it a rainbow or a brown? That looks like a rainbow. Bigger rainbow? Yeah. Man, that's a nice rainbow. Look at the colors on that thing. That one is a nice one. Good fish. Oh. Hey guys, so we're out here at Parker Bottoms on the base of the beaver tail waters. And I'm gonna show you how we're how we're catching these trout today. So I'm using a 6'8 six, eight, uh, eight, six, eight, uh, extra fast rod. It's spooled with monofilament. I got that going to a barrel uh, barrel swivel and a quarter ounce weight and then my leader line is approximately 20 inches long and then I'm using a size 10 fire hook and what I'm doing is I'm simply getting a orange fire egg it's garlic scented and I'm putting it on the fire hook like so and then I'm getting a little piece of night crawler okay you just you don't need very much just a real small piece and i'm threading that on to the fire hook and then i get that that fire egg and i slide it down just a little bit but to to enhance things a little bit more i like to get the garlic fire gel and all you do if you leave it out in the sun it kind of it kind of turns it into a little oily mix there is i just dip the whole thing right there inside that that garlic fire gel and that will last for a lot of cast in this cold water. I don't know, I'm bouncing close, but... It's a little brown. Another brown. This one has color. Maybe. It's one of those. Stay still, stay still. There's You can just hush. That is another brown. That is another brown. It is. Easy net, man. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. I like those little jumps. Like little that. rainbow. So when you're out here and the water is this low, which if you're here in September, October, it's, it's pretty common. You're going to see this almost every day, uh, unless they're generating a, a significant amount of water. You can see in front of you. Okay, take a look. This water is super clear. You can see all the way out there. Oh, and we got a swim. The other thing we're gonna tell you is, we're not here to tell anybody how to fish, but one, one suggestion we have is, you might wanna stay out of the water, at least stay out of the middle of the hole. Because when you're standing in the middle of the hole, you spook the fish and you push them up to where we're getting, 
you know, which is what's happening down here. Uh, but take a look at this. There's a bite right, right there. there. Just like you're saying, throw it, throw it out there in that dark channel right out, right out there, right along that rock seam. These orange fire eggs. Good looking rainbow, actually. I think, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a rainbow. That's a brown. Another brown? Yeah, another brown. Does it make like number 10? I do know how to identify a fish, but let me tell you, I'm not used to identifying this many browns. We've caught about 80 something percent browns today. Here's another one right there. But I have got a feeling that anywhere in Northwest Arkansas, that orange fire egg, a night crawler, and garlic fire gel might be tough to find in the fall, simply because it's what's working. It's what's working for everybody. Uh, but we're just showing you. Take a look right in the middle right there you can see with your own eyes if you got a good pair of polarized glasses or a cheap pair of polarized glasses doesn't matter you're still going to be able to see with as clear as this water is right here you want to cast right in that deeper section and all the trout are going to be waiting for you same place they're right out there in that that <laughs> seam out there right where the the shallow meets the edge of that channel orange fire egg and it looks like it's another brownie yeah Look at the colors on this one. Even better. If you folks have never caught a brown, you live in Northwest Arkansas, you got the recipe. Okay, we've just showed you how to catch almost two dozen browns here in the middle of the day. We're fishing from basically 11.30 to 1.30 and then we're out of here. Um, and listen, if you own Slim Chickens or you know somebody that does, Austin is dying for one in Eureka Springs. Dying. So. I'm just gonna give you that you know, tidbit. He's gonna take all his clients there if you bring it out that way. He doesn't like driving all the way into the city, so it's just a good idea. Today's episode of Pilots Get Outdoors comes to you in Northwest Arkansas. Where we're fishing at the bottom of Beaver Tailwaters today, basically in the Parker Bottoms area. Now we're with the boys from Bush Mountain Fishing Guide Service. They don't normally do bank fishing. They offer guided trips from the boat. However, when water's low, you can't get a boat up here. So we asked them, hey, can you come up here and show guys an easy technique to catching fish from the bank right here during the fall months? Now, keep this in mind. You can catch fish a million different ways here. This is just what they chose today. They chose a very simple technique by basically taking a tiny piece of a night crawler, a orange fire egg. We also use chartreuse fire eggs and garlic fire gel. And what they did is they lathered garlic fire gel on that fire egg to bring tons of scent to it. And they casted it out there and what that fire egg does it's an attractor and it floats that little tiny piece of worm off the bottom what did that do it found rainbows and browns on almost every cast that we were down here in the middle of the day for about roughly two hours it just shows you here is one easy way you can catch fish from the bank here only a short distance from the heart of northwest arkansas Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.